I touched the door. I actually tried to open it. The only door my mom has warned me to stay very far away from. Sonia! Mom! Sonia! Mom, please, can you help me get my phone? I left this in the living room. I want to make a transfer. Good evening. How may I help you? Yes, she's my mom, but she doesn't speak to strangers. Sonia! Hello? Who is this? A well wisher. Okay, bye. Wait! I am coming over to pay you a very pleasant visit. So please keep the front door open for me. Okay? Mom, who was that? No one. No one. Wasn't that just the woman I spoke to? She's one of these scammers that are looking for who to defraud. Important. And you. Don't ever take my calls again. Have you heard me? Not in the mood for all those your endless questions. Do not open that door for anybody. Am I understood? Did you hear me? Yes, mom. Did the person on the phone say something that you do not like? Children banks love to frustrate their customers. Why can't they access my freaking app? Open! Hmm. Oh shit, God. Mom. Is it necessary to clean the living room more than twice every day? 
it is necessary for you to understand that you have to keep your house clean. Mom? Mom, is it... Is oh, Tonya, please. Mom, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Don't you think that mommy already knows she's beautiful? Mom, what is it? I think my blog has been hacked or something. I've been, I've been trying to make a post for someone that has already paid me, but it's not coming up. If it has been hacked, will you be able to recover it? Oh, maybe it's just bad network or something. I, I, I don't know. Try. Oh, it's so frustrating. Come on. What's going on? Drinking our tea. <laughs> I make the best tea in the world. Juliet, I asked you to leave the front door open for me. I made sure I locked that door myself before going to bed. I asked you nicely, but you locked up everywhere. That's not nice. Hmm? Oh well. I let myself in. How did you get that key? <laughs> mm -hmm. My late husband gave me the key. Listen, I do not know how your late husband got the key to my house. But you will give it to me now and get the hell out of my house! Give me the key and get out! If I walk out of that front door, you will never, ever recover your money or your blood. So, I will leave now. But if you don't want me to go, you will have to ask me to stay back. And don't forget to ask All right, Juliet, thank you so much for your hospitality. <laughs> okay, I'll find my way out. Wait, 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 please wait, wait, wait. Don't go. You have to finish your tea.
sorry. There is nothing I can do about it. What do you mean there's nothing you can do about it? My money is supposed to be safe in your bank. I pay charges for every transaction I run on that account. I practically pay your bank to safeguard my money. So please, tell me something I can hold on to. You don't like me, right? Madam, these things happen. These things happen? Share the white meaning. I can understand how you feel, but... No, 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 you have no idea about how I feel. My money disappeared from your bank without any trace. And you're telling me you understand how I feel. Why don't you guys put up a large disclaimer that says money is deposited at customer's risk? Nonsense. Mom? Is everything alright? Everything will be alright. two of you to have the wrong impression of me. I want you guys to like me. Who are you? A well-wisher. For goodness sake, what is all this about? Now, I am a very, very sweet person. I am not here to harm anybody. You see, I am only here with a warning and also with a very important piece of information. What is this important information? The warning doesn't bother you. Warning means bad news, but information could be either good news or bad news. Neither bad nor good news. It could be a combination of both. <gasps> Smart girl. <laughs> Just like I expect. Oh, for goodness sake, what do you want? Did you have to yell? See, you almost scared your... It's all right, my dear. Now, let's cut to the chase. Your husband gave you a tiny piece of diamond bracelet before he died of cancer, didn't he? How did you know that? He was my husband. Antonia here is my biological daughter. Leave. Get out of my house this minute! Don't you 
think Tonya deserves to know the truth. What bloody truth are you talking about? I said to get out of my house! I want to know the truth. Is this some kind of a sick joke? Was that the important information? No. That was a warning for her to stay out of our lives. <laughs> our lives as in you and... You know what? I have had enough of your crazy tales. You can't just walk into my house and begin to... To me, baby. My late husband had only one wife. And that is me. Okay? I believe you, Mom. Thank you. Now, what was the important information? Believe me, she has nothing important to say. Sweetheart. Now that I've finally found you, we belong together forever. And I will never, ever allow anyone to take you away from me again. This I promise. I'm going to get everything that's mine. You, my money, and this house. As I was saying before I was unpleasantly interrupted. Tonya, baby, we belong together forever because I am your biological mother. She's not. Go ahead and ask her if she's your biological mom. Juliet, do not lie to the child. To me, baby. I adopted you from a motherless baby's home. But I raised you. I may not be your biological mother, but I have always loved you like I carried you in my womb for nine months and suckled you. I love you, okay, and I will never let any stranger come between us.
Let me tell you a story. A woman was depressed because of the murder of her husband. With time, her condition grew worse. She lost her job. Her daughter was taken away from her to an orphanage by her brother-in-law who took advantage of her condition to take everything away from her. A woman met the little girl at the orphanage. She fell in love with her, adopted her and gave her a home. You don't want to know what happens to the woman's evil brother-in-law? She killed him. Get out of my room! Don't you want to know what will happen to the woman who adopted her daughter? Get out. What did you say your name was? I never told you my name. Whatever your name is, I want you to return my money, my blog, get out of my house, and our lives. You will do all this now, or I'll report to the police. <laughs> You still haven't figured it out, have you? Oh my, that's so sad. Juliet, you can call the police. What are you going to tell them? What proof do you have? Why are you doing all this to me? Because I want to see you suffer. I am not in a hurry though. Juliet, I am going to destroy you piece by piece. And I will make sure you know no peace even in the afterlife. <laughs> The thought of this is already making me hungry. Do you want something to eat? Oh, never mind. I know the way to the kitchen. I'll make us something.
had asked your mother to call you, but... Mom? Mom, why are you just standing there looking at us? Are you not going to eat? It could be... I made this food with lots of love. It could be poisoned. Why will I poison my own child? Or the woman who has been a mother to her all these years? Do you really think you have OCD or you're just leaving out the demons in your head? You don't know your limits now, do you? <laughs> what I know is that it will take you a whole lot to kill me. And you cannot torture me to say what I don't want to say. Hmm? I do not torture people. And I am certainly not a killer. Oh. The moment you start believing in your lies, you have moved beyond the reach of redemption. Juliet, I will make the world to see you for the monster that you are. Oh. <laughs> 
Can you say that? He's lighter. Yes. Oh, he was lighter. He was lighter. Now he's darker. <laughs> What is this? In that envelope are documents to show that I am the owner of this house. My husband did that before he died. You'll also find... Enough! I have had enough. I don't know what game you're playing, but it ends now. I don't play games. No mother would play games with her child. You are fake. Sonia is not your daughter. I am her biological mother. No, you are not. Yes, I am and I can prove you it. You are not her mother. I am her mother. There is something called deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA testing. Sonia, baby, we cannot trust her. If we can't trust her, why is she still here? Why don't we throw her out or call the police to come and arrest her? My daughter will never believe a liar like you. She will always believe me. You're wrong. You say it. You lied to me about being my biological mother. Does that also make you a liar? Maybe I should just kill her and end it all. She has all my money and my blog. Why do you know to do So, how is school going? It's going just the way it goes for any secondary school student. And how does it go? Disaster. <laughs> of course. What's your favorite food? I don't know. It changes from time to time. So, what's your current favorite food? Do not think for a second that I trust you. There is something that is you and my mom are not telling me. What's going on between you two? Do you think you can stand the truth? I am smarter than I look. The original documents. 
You have an ice cream. I love ice cream. Do you mind if I join you? Thank you. I love, 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 love ice cream. Mm. My mom won't like that. If you form the habits of cleaning up evidence, you will hardly be caught. Where is she? Did you see my property documents? Juliet, I am not a thief. Hmm? Tony and I were just having fun eating ice cream. You know, you also need to loosen up and have some fun. Hmm? I have had enough fun to last me a thousand lifetimes before you brought your good self into our lives. Juliet. And you, you had better not listen to or believe anything this liar has to say. Am I understood? Juliet, has it ever occurred to you that you're suffocating this poor child with your annoying cleaning habits and so many rigid rules? She's just a child and she needs... You will not tell me how to raise my daughter, okay? Tonya, you want to know why she's still here? It's because she stole all the money in my bank account, she hacked my block, and now she has stolen the documents of this house. We have enough reasons to go to the police, right? You can't go to the police when all you have are false allegations and no proofs or evidence. Hmm? She's just lying against me. So, you're willing to go for a DNA test to prove that you're my mother? Yes. If you are truly my mother, why are you coming in my life now? You are still a kid, but I do hope you will understand. Terrible things were done to me by a very bad person. I lost everything, including you, and it turned my life upside down and left me hopeless. I was depressed for a long time. They said it was complicated grief. They also added disorder to it. But when I decided to fight to get my life back, I swore that I will find you. And you're convinced that I am your daughter? I may not have used the right approach to come into your life. And I understand it will not be easy for Juliet to let go of you. But I was, I was struggling with the excitement of having found my daughter. Who did the terrible things to you?
If I can't kill her, I should be two steps ahead of her. Who is she? How did she take all my money and my blog? How do I get rid of her? Is it making her look? She's an evil wind. Mom, when you start thinking positively about her, I believe you and her could be good friends. <laughs> friends? Oh, Juliet. I think there's a lot we can learn from children. Right? Have you lost it? She's an intruder. She's my mom too. Baby, you bought her cock and bull story. What's the matter with you? Shh, 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 shh. Juliet, you were yelling. Mm -mm. Confused. I know Juliet is my mom, but she didn't give birth to me, though. But that woman, I don't even know her name. I can't explain it, but I have a strong feeling that she's my biological mother. I can feel your blood boiling with so much anger and resentment. You deserve to tear me into a thousand pieces. You are struggling to control your anger. Trust me. I want to give you the freedom of violence your soul deserves. Come on. It's just the two of us here. Stop holding back. Feed your rage on me. Attack me. Gog my eyes out and break my bones. <laughs> You're almost there. <laughs> I know I can always push you to unleash the beast in you. I love it when I fight with beasts and demons. You've taken all my money. And you've closed down my blog. Why don't you just go away? Why can't you leave my daughter and I alone? It's a life. For a life. Yours is the only thing that can quench the fire of revenge in my soul. What have you been doing? Having a conversation with God. Really? Yes. Yes, Mom. 
praying or having a conversation with God. Mom, when you tell someone everything that's on your mind and then listen to what they have to say, you're having a conversation. It could be either deceitful or an honest conversation. Mm. Tell me about it. I have always wondered what is inside that room you have always wanted me to stay away from. Can we have an honest conversation about it? I thought as much. Because the outer glass oven door was shattered, the lying in pieces of the for was safety glass. And so she was I hope you have not done anything stupid with my picture. Please. Tonya. Tonya, baby. Please open the door. Open the door so that we can have the honest conversation we talked about. Can you hear me? Tonya? the bucket. I need water. I need detergent. I need a mopping stick.
Her play of violence against children. Have you seen what you've just done? You've ruined everything. Ruined everything. You did it on purpose, right? You did it on purpose! I'll kill you, this woman! Aha! I already know your dark side. I also want her to know. Mm -hmm. She will cease to see you as that innocent and sweet mother she's always known. That will definitely kill a piece of you and it will make it easier for me to wipe every memory of you from her mind. <laughs> Baby, I understand that you've ruined your rehearsals, and I'm sorry. I even apologized to that woman. I don't even know what her name is. I apologized to her too. I don't believe you meant it. She <laughs> meant it. Sonia, she's still your mother. She was only looking out for you. Can you stop hiding your true colors around my daughter? I said it. I was right. Can't you see what she's trying to do? Can't you see she's, she's manipulating you? She's trying to make you hate me. Can't you see it? Yeah. I've got juice for everyone hmm? we need to tap into the sweetness of our insides and be happy for once okay <laughs> for you thank you you're welcome <laughs> Hi. and this is for you <laughs> what <gasps> you think i poisoned it Oh, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Che oh, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. going to stay here for the night? I should be leaving. I have very important things to do. But what could be more important than my daughter's birthday? You, you have a daughter? Yes, I have a daughter. She's looking at me right now. And she'll be 10 tomorrow. You, you know that my birthday is tomorrow. No year has passed that I did not remember with tears in my eyes the birthday of the child that was taken away from me to a motherless baby's home. I have survived all these years from one mental health institution to another. 
I survived it all because I was hoping to find you. And here you call me mommy. <laughs> wow, Siwu is finally awake. <laughs> you have been sleeping almost the whole day. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mom. What? With all this... What are you doing in my dress? Oops. Uh, Mom, she had nothing else to wear, so I asked her to wear it. <laughs> she even gave me a makeover. Don't I look gorgeous? I know, right? She did all of this. Mm. Ten seconds to midnight. Let the countdown begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Happy birthday, my darling. <laughs> May you, may you always be happy. I wish you happiness. May you grow up to be the best the world has ever known. It will always end in praise in your life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you so much. <laughs> happy birthday again and again and again, my baby. <laughs> I was so excited that I didn't get enough sleep. So in the morning, she ordered for a birthday cake. And oh, oh, please stop it! You celebrated your birthday without me? Really? Is this what this has got to? I'm looking at a tune that's completely different from the one I used to know. You could be another for. Maybe you're right. I could be her daughter. And if you care to know, I did not celebrate my birthday. Has she also taught you to lie? I heard people singing birthday songs to you and I had wanted to come down and, uh, and join you, but for some reason I, I, was, I was just... 
Mom, she bought a birthday cake, but I told her that I couldn't celebrate without you. When we couldn't wake you, we watched my last year's birthday video. Those are the people you heard singing. Why are you doing all this to us? Oh, please, Mom. Stop looking for who to blame for your mistake. You couldn't come downstairs when you heard people singing because you were drunk. Shut up! How dare you? Hey, baby. It's okay. I was not drunk. I have never been drunk. I did not drink last night. I was not the one who drank the bottle of wine by your bedside. I cried trying to wake you, but... Tunya. Tunya. You know she shouldn't have taken that orange juice. I spiked it. I made you sleep like a log. <laughs> you see, the glass and the empty bottle of wine I left in your room, that was a nice touch that sealed your fate. About the honest conversation we talked about, I think I'm ready to have one. Tunia, baby, nothing has ever scared me more than the thought of losing you. I'm sorry I hit you. It's all right. And I need you to understand that Regina is not... Yes, that is the name of that intruder. She is not who she's pretending to Mom, be. Mom, can we just talk about her? She is not your mother. She was never married to my husband. I killed her husband. He was a serial rapist and... He tried to rape me. In the process of defending myself, I stabbed him. He took a long legal battle for me to get here. Are you trying to say that she's here to avenge her husband? Yes. And we're not hiding from her. Are we not supposed to hide from those who want to kill us? You don't get it, do you? Okay, let's go to a police station. Tell them that we have a killer in our home. We have slept with her and she claims to be my mother. Oh yeah, and she also stole all the money in your account and hacked your blog. Then they will ask us for evidence. What are we going to tell them?
I am sick of this game you're playing. I want to know the reason you are here. For someone who runs, used to run a very successful blog, you shouldn't be this slow. I already told you I am here. Regina Joseph. Why are you here? Oh, she now knows my name. I would have thought that being a blogger comes with being investigated. It sure took a while for you to- Oh, please spare me the bullshit and answer my question. Why are you here? I am here to destroy you for killing my husband and taking my child. I did not take Tunia from anybody. I adopted her. As for your husband, it was an accident. He raped me. <gasps> my husband was a chronic womanizer. I knew it. I struggled with it. What I will not have you do is call him a rapist. But the court said he's a I rapist. don't give a two big flying piece of shit about what the court said. You had money. And you had no problem spending it all just to get off the hook. I believe in my own judgment. And what the hell is your freaking judgment? Death. What's wrong? Is everything all right? Yes. Oh, I'll be fine. It's, it's just my blood sugar. I only need to take my medication and rest. Are you sure? Maybe you should go to the hospital. Aww. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for your concern. Just, just get me a glass of water, okay, so I can take my medicine. And while you're at it, do you, do you have vitamin C in this house? I think so. Oh, okay. Please come with it. Right? Thank you.
Where have you been? Thank you for the water. Um, I've been looking for my medicine. I didn't know how I left it in the restroom. Okay. Have you seen my mom? Um, she stepped out earlier. Where did she go? She wouldn't tell me. She's still mad at me. You must be hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Well, it's still your birthday. What do you think about taking you somewhere nice and sweet for your birthday lunch? Hmm? It will be fun. What do you think? Nice. I'll be right back. Tonya, what's wrong? You look scared. Well, my mother warned me never to go to that door. But I heard something. I think something or someone is in there. It's all right. If she asked you not to go in there, she has her reasons. Go get ready, let's leave. I am going to take you far, far away from here. Very, very far. I traced my daughter from a motherless baby's home to this house. Came in one night, took her hair, and went for DNA testing. Guess what? It was positive. Then I realized it was not a coincidence that you are in the middle of it all. You killed my husband and took away my child. You want to say something? Save it! Do you see my husband in hell? Hmm. 
on a second thought. Maybe we should have an honest conversation. I will take off the gag. But if you dare to scream, or even talk beyond a whisper, I will go out there, kill Doria, and then come out for you. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Where could my mom have gone without her phone? messages. So? Have you killed my mom? What? Did anybody send a message that I killed her? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Not as hilarious as the message sent to her by someone who described you as a violent and dangerous mental health patient. Really? Yes. What have you done to my mom? Oh. Tonya. Tonya. She is a very bad person. She was the one I told you that did terrible and despicable things to me. I believe. I believe she deserves whatever punishment that comes her way. My mom is not a bad person. Come with me. I need to show you something. Come. Oh, Mom. No, I'm so sorry I read your messages. I was worried that the message came up. It said it was urgent. The person said that Regina is a dangerous mental health patient. I told Tonya you're a very bad person. But she doesn't want to believe me. Now you're going to tell her yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. Why are you being mean to my mom? What has she done to you? Shut up and listen! <laughs> you will answer my question. Else. I will fulfill the promise I made to you about her right here in your presence. What, what promise did you make? Quiet! Keep your mouth shut and listen! Regina, keep my daughter out of this. You think I'm playing? <laughs> She thinks I'm playing with you. She thinks I'm playing with you. What happened to my husband? 
I killed him. Why? I gave him everything. He meant so much to me. I loved him. Yet he had no time for me. He was always spending time with his wife. He never wanted to be with me. He was my husband and not yours. I loved him. Did you kill him or not? Did you kill him or not? Yes, I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> Killed him right in this room. And since then, I have tried to wash this room a thousand times. Yet, I can't wash off the guilt from my mind. I killed him in this room. I haven't stopped cleaning since I killed him. <laughs> Regina, I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry. You are dead. Mm -hmm. I have been living a quiet life. No one knew I existed until you killed my husband and turned my life upside down. You are going to... Where is Julia's phone? It's, it's in her room. It's in her room. Tonya said she read her mother's messages. The damn phone is locked. Well, I'll make them open it because I need to see the messages Tonya read. She locked the door, but I locked it from the inside. Everything I said is true. But I did not kill, so I could take you away from her. It was something I did, and I regret so much. I'm I never spent any other day without regretting what I did. And there's nothing I can do to help myself. Please, my daughter, please forgive me. Somebody should open this door now. This is not a request. I am ordering you two to open this door right now. Please, just leave us alone. Tonya, is that how you talk to your mother? You lied to me. You said that my dad got married to you and gave you this house. Besides, you need help. And, and you're sick. Oh. I see. Now this has taken the last piece of my broken heart, which I reserved for when I will find you. Now 
I am left with nothing. I am heartless. <laughs> so now that I am heartless, we should just end it all. <laughs> yeah? Hey, hey, hey! I, I, I have an idea. Why don't I burn down this house with the three of us in it? Huh? That's like dying, you know, walking into the afterlife in a very grand style. <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> Mom. Mom. She wants to burn the house down. No. I will never let any harm come to you, okay? I won't. What are you doing? There's always an end to everything. Jules! Jules! Can you hear me? Do you have enough fuel that can burn down this house in your generator? Huh? Oh, I should go find out. <laughs> you girls, stay cool, stay cool, I'm cold. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Juliet. I've been... My name is Tonya, and I'm calling with my mom's phone. The woman you said is a mental patient is in our house right now. And she's trying to kill my mom. Call the police and get them to our house now. Uh, ow! Thank you. 